you very much, Koshi. It's 20 minutes past seven o'clock now. Well, so-called cancer breakthroughs are announced all the time, but every now and then one comes along that can't be ignored. A drug developed from trees in far north Queensland has stunned scientists with its ability to destroy tumours. Simon Reeve has this report. Scientists call them the lungs of the earth. They are also the drug laboratories of the future. In far north Queensland, the rainforests draw hundreds of thousands of tourists every year. Ironically, many of them may one day have their lives saved by a humble tree that they've walked past without a second thought. Dr Paul Riddell is passionate about rainforests and loves uncovering their secrets. A tree called a fontania or blushwood has held one for many years, but now the secret's out. And that's where the drug is concentrated. That's the good stuff. Very high concentrations in this. The drug developed by Paul and microbiologist Dr Victoria Gordon is called EBC46. Their younger borough-based company, Ecobiotics, is potentially on the verge of one of this country's biggest ever medical breakthroughs. G'day. G'day. Little Scotty. Oh. Far away in Dr Jack Airby's Geelong vet practice, little Scotty is having a miserable time. A large tumour on his backside is about to be treated with the drug that has come from that very seed. What this drug does is stimulates the body's natural immune system to fire in to where the tumour is and actually target the cancerous cells. So we can see that it's actually invading the tissue quite, quite a long way there. A series of direct injections into the tumour are no fun, but the only alternative is to put Scotty down, as he can't poop and has no bladder control. That's it. All right, mate. Sorry, mate. Having lost my wife with breast cancer, my brother with pancreatic cancer, and my mother with an esophageal carcinoma, I've been touched by cancer. I think everyone is. So look, there are your parents. There they are. The wonderful thing about this particular drug is it only targets the cancer tissue. It's, it's basically like um, pricking a, bo a balloon full of custard and it, the balloon just, just flattens out and the custard runs out. Of the many milestones in this remarkable story, the thing that Victoria and Paul are most proud of is that this is the first ever drug to come from an Australian tropical rainforest. The tiny cuttings are now harvested and grown commercially at no cost to the forest. The trees can produce fruit within a couple of years. Back in the lab, it's like a cooking show as the team extracts the compounds they need. It's a long road from the seed to, well, to basically this is where we are now. This is, this is the pure chemical. Um, and in this tiny little container, there's, uh, there's enough material here to treat 150 animal or human patients. Before they advance to human trials, it's vets and animals who are discovering its extraordinary benefits. Amazingly, little Scotty's tumour dissolved in a few days. Horses too are being treated. This is Mari, or Popcorn, as she's affectionately known around here. She's an 11-year-old skewbald mare, absolutely gorgeous. But the poor gal has got these lesions that you can see are pretty nasty just under her chin. So she will get an injection tomorrow of the drug and within a couple of days, literally, those lesions will disappear. Importantly, it's not a cancer cure and there is a long way to go with exhaustive human trials. But the excitement around these two former CSIRO scientists at a little Australian company defying the odds is palpable. This drug is active against all solid tumours. So anything that you can biopsy, any, any tumour that you can get to, you can treat with this drug. So we're looking at the spectrum of solid tumours. That includes breast, prostate, colon, head and neck. It's, it's very, it's very, it has a very broad potential application. Simon, it's now, just remarkable. I must say, in all my time at Sunrise, this is the most extraordinary story I have ever done. I, I fell in love with these people and this whole project. Um, it is phenomenal. How, this, how they came to, to discover it as well, 
are literally the powers of perseverance, observation and deduction. So the tree produces the fruit, fruit drops to the ground, the fruit contains a seed, along comes a little bush rat or something, takes it off to a little hiding spot, eats the fruit around the seed, buries the seed. So they thought that there must be something in that seed that that little critter and all these other little critters in the forest didn't want to touch. So they, they, they thought this is, this, is, this, is where wow. we, this is where we start. Yeah. Work. So they looked at all the compounds, all the molecules yeah. in there, um, and they tested them against tumours. Blow me down, there was a eureka moment one day when they went, oh my God, they came back to the lab and that particular tumour had started to shrink overnight. So this is a tiny company. They said that they would, a lot of people told them that this would never work, you know. Big pharmaceutical companies have spent hundreds of millions of dollars up in the Queensland rainforest and found nothing. So this is two amazingly brilliant Australian scientists and this is going to be something special, I think. Wow, what an amazing story. When do you think, I mean, I know that you said exhaustive testing is to yeah. go on. When do you think this could develop into a drug that may make it to the market or may make it to testing on That's humans? right. Well, look, at every stage, you know, something can happen, you know, that, that yeah. might sort of cut this off. But I've just got a feeling about this. I reckon potentially three to five years, the clinical trials start in Europe in, in a couple of months, and so maybe in three to five years, and if it really works, they will probably look at fast-tracking it for extreme cases. So if you've got no other option, lots of tumours, and they'd say, all right, you know, it's either death yep. or, or we'll give you this drug, wow. yeah, so. Well, you're an experienced journo, so for you to be this excited, it's no, it, remarkable. No, it is something special. Thank you, Simon. Thanks, Mel. See you soon.